is it still possible to find an affordable place to live here in Boise? We're covering that right now. Hey again, everyone. So you're looking for an affordable place to live if you're looking to move here to Boise and the Treasure Valley area. We're gonna be covering the most affordable areas where you can still find an affordable, nice, large, great home to move into. It's a big reason why I moved here from California, why I uprooted my family to come here to beautiful Treasure Valley and the wonderful state of Idaho. And it's because I wanted more affordability. So that's probably something that you're looking for if you're watching this video. So I'm gonna cover the top five suburbs of Boise that are still affordable for you to make the move here, including one that is a little bit higher end, but affordable relative to what you could get elsewhere here in the Valley. And I'm gonna cover exactly what that is here in just a minute. Now, I just wanna point out that my name is Curtis Chisholm and I am a local real estate agent. I have to be very careful about steering you to certain areas. So again, this is purely based on affordability of homes in the neighborhood, not my personal opinion about how great they are or not great they are at all. Now, if you are looking to move here, then all you gotta do is reach out via phone, text, or email. My contact information is in the description down below and myself or my team will have a conversation with you about what makes sense for you as far as what area you wanna end up in and what your lifestyle is like and where you wanna be within the Treasure Valley, whether that's a really affordable area or maybe one place that's maybe a little more expensive but more access to certain amenities. So just reach out via phone, text, or email and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we release a new video which we're dropping new videos every single week and hit the like button so more people can find this video that are like you to help others discover this channel and learn about moving and, and living here in the Boise area. So we're actually gonna work our way from the most affordable areas to the least affordable as far as ranked one through five. And that number five is gonna be that one that's gonna be pretty high end, but affordable compared to another much more high end area. So stay tuned for that if that's more what you're looking for uh, as far as the type of home that you wanna buy here. So number one as most affordable city and suburb here in the Treasure Valley area is gonna be the city of Caldwell. Caldwell, Idaho is located just west of Boise, about 30 minutes west of the city of Boise itself. It has about 60,000 people in it and the median price is going to be right around $396,000 at the time of recording this video. So what is so great about Caldwell, Idaho, aside from affordability? Well, you certainly can get a lot of home for your money. You're gonna find homes here, 6,000 to 10,000 square feet, all types of homes here as far as single level starter homes up to move up homes, 3,000 square feet. So 1,500 to 3,000 square feet homes. And you also can find homes that are gonna give you a little bit more land as well. So if you're looking for half acre to an acre or potentially more, and you're willing to be a little bit more rural, then Caldwell, Idaho could be a great spot for you to get a little bit more elbow room and breathing room for yourself. Now, there are a lot of beautiful subdivisions here that are gonna be more in the tract home. So these are gonna be like spec homes or semi-custom homes, or in some cases fully custom, but typically kind of semi-custom to spec home tract homes that you can find here in Caldwell, Idaho that are built by many of the major builders like CBH Homes, Hubble Homes, Hayden Homes. Those are gonna be like your primary affordable builders here in Treasure Valley. There's a few other builders, but those are kind of the big players for the more affordable type homes. Now, what I like about Caldwell is Indian Creek Plaza. So Indian Creek Plaza really has revitalized downtown Caldwell. And so we love going there for all the events that are there. There's something like 260 events per year. We go there almost every single week uh, during the summer and early fall to go see the live music. There's splash pads there. My daughter and my boy love playing in the splash pads. We'll go and grab a canned uh, cocktail or beer and wine. And you just get to go and sit on the big courtyard there, the plaza, and listen to the live music. It's a really small town feel, very much pro-America, and we absolutely love it for those reasons. And during the winter months when it gets cold and Christmas time, then they set up probably millions of lights, Christmas lights, and they light up the entire plaza and the bridge and the river all around Indian Creek Plaza. And they put in a huge ice rink that they call the ribbon. So we love going there for that. It's super affordable for the ice rink and it's free to just enjoy the lights. Now, number two on the most affordable is going to be Nampa. I live in Nampa. It is directly connected to Caldwell. It has about 100,000 people in the town of Nampa. And the median price right now is gonna be right around 435 thousand dollars so again you're gonna find the builders here like CBH and Hubble in particular those are the primary big builders here for more of the tract homes which you're gonna find here again ranging from 6,000 to 10,000 square foot lots homes ranging from 1,600 to 3,000 square feet probably the biggest bane for your buck is gonna be those homes that are kind of in the 2,000 to 2,800 square foot on 8,000 square foot lots or so so that's actually why we moved particularly to Nampa because we were looking at what we could buy in places like Star and Eagle maybe Meridian 
and we could just get a lot more home for our money. So we ended up with a wonderful four bedroom plus a bonus office room. So basically five bedrooms with a bonus loft upstairs, about 2,700 square feet, four car garage. And so that was perfect for our needs with me working from home, my wife working from home, three children, two vehicles that we wanna park inside the garage and a really nice size, large backyard. So, and the neighborhoods, brand new construction. Yes, we have to deal with new construction activity, which is kind of a pain, but all brand new homes, still under warranty. A lot of people moving in from other areas, which is really fun, but we love our neighbors and they're all from different states, a few from Idaho. So a really cool mix of people that you're gonna find here in Nampa, also in Caldwell also. But that's what we like about the new construction areas. The roads are super nice and clean. The homes are beautiful. So you're gonna find a lot of those kinds of neighborhoods here in Nampa. And we'll have whole videos about Nampa and some of the specific subdivisions that you can take a look at. But again, Hubble, CBH, these are gonna be your big builders here. Whole Brothers also operates here. They're gonna be a little bit more expensive towards the higher end of that price range. But if you're looking for more of a semi-custom home, then Toll Brothers is gonna be probably the right builder for you. If you're okay with more of a spec home or maybe just a few upgrades that you can have, then Hubble might be the, op the option for you. CBH, you're not really gonna have a whole lot of upgrade options available to you. Now with downtown Nampa, it's pretty cool. There are some really cool restaurants there, a brewery, a little wine bar, etc., craft cocktail place. They're really doing a good job at trying to revitalize downtown Nampa. It's not quite as well developed as Caldwell with the Indian Creek Plaza, but they're doing a really solid job. Okay, the third most affordable city is gonna be the town of Cuna. So Cuna is located just south of Meridian, so southwest of Boise. It has about 25,000 people in it and has really exploded over the past few years as far as population growth. Now, the good thing is you have Highway 69 or Meridian Road that comes right down into Cuna and it is a four lane highway. So the traffic flows really nicely in and out of Cuna. So if you're working in Meridian or in Boise, you've got really easy access up the Highway 69 into Meridian or into Boise. So that can be a great option for you if you don't mind commuting a little bit, but don't really wanna sit in traffic like what you might find out in Nampa and Caldwell coming into town. Now, you're gonna find a lot of tract homes here as well again a little bit more affordable so the median price right now is 442,000 so just a hair more than what you're gonna find in Nampa but if you're looking for a really small town vibe a very small town downtown area but really cool parks and some cool activities to do there CUNA can be a great option for you what's really cool is Lowe's Family Farmstead is actually here in CUNA so during the fall they set up this huge farmstead with all kinds of events they've got this huge dragon you can walk through all this corn your kids can play in huge slide pig races this rope obstacle course big huge pumpkin patch where you go pick your own pumpkins so that's in CUNA so in this price range that we're talking about kind of that 400 to 600 thousand price range it's gonna be tract homes but if you're looking for a larger lot half acre to an acre maybe a little bit more you can find that out here in CUNA because this is not developed yet there's still tons and tons of farm land around here so that's what you actually have to be kind of okay with is driving through two-lane country roads and all these little farm roads number four of most affordable areas in the Treasure Valley Boise area is Meridian so Meridian right now the median price is five $524,000. So as you can see, about $125,000 more or so than Caldwell, almost $100,000 more than Nampa. Now, a lot of the homes here are going to be definitely resale homes. So homes that were built early 2000s through into like the early 2020s, not a lot of brand new construction available, although there is some, especially in Northwest Meridian and the very west side of Meridian, it's going to be some brand new construction and South Meridian. As you're heading towards CUNA, you're going to find some brand new construction as well. But for the most part, you're going to find resale sell homes. Now, the benefit of this is they're going to be more established neighborhoods, tree-lined streets. So that's really great. You're not going to have have to deal with new construction with a home being built right next door to you like you might have to deal with in Nampa or Caldwell. And it's super centrally located. Meridian is very, very central throughout the Treasure Valley. It also has incredible schools here and a lot of the major shopping is here. So you have the village, which was built a number of years ago, just in like around 2013 or so. And it really helped Meridian kind of explode around that as it, it's just a really boutique, awesome shopping experience. And it put Meridian on the map. So Meridian is a really great place as far as being super century located. If you work in downtown Boise, you're just a few minutes away. You're also just a few minutes from Eagle as well. So very close to the river. Again, it's very central located a lot of people really really love living in Meridian and it's still relatively affordable compared to some other areas in the Treasure Valley now number five and I know I said we're gonna just do five but I'm gonna throw an honorable mention at the end because it's really important we talk about that one is number five is gonna be Middleton so Middleton is a really cool little small town of only about 10,000 people now that's located in kind of the west side of Treasure Valley in between Caldwell and in between stars Middleton has a median price right now of $569,000 
dollars. Now, again, these are gonna be for the types of homes. They're gonna be about 2,000 to 3,000 square feet. Tract homes, semi-custom homes as well. Middleton is super cool, like little tiny shops down this one main strip down the highway here. And a really cool ice cream shop too. We absolutely love going to this ice cream shop. As you can see, my kids love it too. But you are really gonna find some affordable homes here that are on the larger size. Now, they're not gonna be as affordable as say Nampa or Caldwell, but it's gonna be a much smaller town vibe. Now, because of that, there really are not any hospitals here. So you're gonna have to drive into Meridian or into Boise in order to go to hospitals. However, I get asked this question a lot. There are a lot of urgent cares and there are fire departments still as well. So if you have an emergency, you're gonna get taken care of. But if you're looking for more regularly scheduled doctor's appointments or surgeries, you're gonna be heading into Meridian. Now, the honorable mention I wanted to throw in is Star. Now, the reason I'm throwing this in is because it's a lot more affordable than Eagle, Idaho. So Eagle is gonna be the most expensive city here, nearly a million dollars for median price, whereas Star has a median price right around $725,000. And a lot of people that are looking at Eagle are actually looking at Star, because you're gonna get similar homes, it's built into the foothills. So you can get homes that are actually in the foothills that might have views, or you're kind of like tucked in valleys, etc. Or you're in more tract home developments, more in the flat parts of Star, but super close access to the river. It's almost connected to Eagle. It's about 25% less for a very similar vibe as what you're gonna get in Eagle. Now, it's not gonna have as many great restaurants as what you're gonna find in Eagle, but again, a lot of great access to outdoors and of course to the river as well. So Star gets that honorable mention for most affordable because of how much more affordable it is than Eagle, Idaho. Well, that's an overview of the most affordable neighborhoods and cities here in the Boise area. If you are looking to make the move here to Boise and Treasure Valley area, I would absolutely love the opportunity to sit down with you and figure out what is the best area for you to make the move for you and your family. I moved here from California with my family and I'm absolutely so glad that I did it and I love helping people just like you make the move here. We get calls and texts and emails all the time from people just like you looking to move here to Treasure Valley. My contact information is listed below. So all you gotta do is email me or shoot me a text, give me a call and we'll hop on a call and figure out what's best for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time we get new videos coming out every single week and hit that like button to help other people find the videos too. And if you are looking to learn more about the Treasure Valley area, just watch this video here. We go over everything you need to know about living in Boise and Treasure Valley area.